Get it, Skip. Get it, Skip. What is it? Oh, really? Oh my goodness. Coop, Coop, what's going on? Toto's not going to back you up if there's nothing there. What's up, guys? And welcome back to another episode of Super Cooper Sunday. Skip, what are you doing? Are we making you be bad? This is like your favorite part of coming to our house, though. So we like to encourage you to be your doggy self. What's up guys, so today we have a new friend to introduce you to, who is Cousin Skip. This is technically not their cousin, but it's the dog of some of our best friends and we call them Aunt Megan and Uncle Ray. So that makes Skip Cousin Skip and we get to babysit him this morning. Skip, to be honest, is pretty much the opposite of Bella. Yeah. Skip is absolutely obsessed with his mom. He doesn't really care that much about Ray or anyone else, <laughs> but she's not in the picture today. We're watching him, so we're gonna have a good time. You want a treat, buddy? I can break it up really small. Oh, what a good boy. Coop, you want this other side? Cody, you want, you want this little one? Skip and the boys get along really, really well. Skip and Bella have a more interesting relationship. Oh, that's nice, Bella. He doesn't know she's there. <laughs> Just watching out the front door together. <laughs> oh, oh, this got awkward. Bella, for whatever reason, is really obsessed with him, and she's not mean to him. Like she, she doesn't. I feel like. She... Oh no. Good boy, Skip. I promise, buddy, we are not gonna let her get you. You're trying to go in your room whenever they stay the night. They stay in this room, so you can go in this room. That's your spot, and we will make sure no cats are allowed. Just trying to enjoy some peace up here by himself, and look who let herself in. <laughs> I don't get the infatuation. I really don't. We're gonna take her out, Skip. This is your safe space, all right? You, you don't have to worry about her. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna be watching him for the next few hours and as you guys can see we're feeling a little bit sad about mom and dad not being here so we thought we could make it a fun day and we could take him to all of Cooper and Coda's favorite places. First up, what do you say we go bark like a maniac? Come on, let's go, let's go get it, let's go get it, oh my goodness! He loves the front windows, being able to see the street when people walk by, cars go by and stuff. He loves being a big dog and having the backup acoustics of the smaller dogs behind him. At least that's what we think is going on in his head. Get it, get it, get it boys, get it, Coda, get it. Oh, oh my God. Coop, Coop got it, he got the bag of treats. I love how he... He throws his whole head back with every bark. <laughs> he, he really puts his chest into it. That's chest. I don't think our boys are fooled. There she goes. Always watching. She's got him underneath the table right now. Skip, it's okay, we're not gonna let her get you. Look at her up there, cleaning her paws. Not only does she do this to Skip, but she does the same thing to his human mom. Just tries to intimidate and scare her, and it works. Previously, Megan was upstairs working in Chelsea's office, and at that time, Bella's litter box was in the same room. Bella went in, went number two, and then kicked it out of the litter box at Megan. Looked her right in the eyes, made eye contact, and kicked it out. Like, purposefully kicked yeah. it. And the last time they spent the night here, Bella was rubbing up on Megan's legs and like rubbing like she wanted attention, and Megan was like, oh my god, I'm gonna pet her, and she bent down and Bella hissed and smacked her. Barking and barking. Oh yeah, we're having a day. She said she was calling to check on her psychopath child. No, he's being a good boy. Get it, Skip, get it. No, he's having a nice time. Skip, get it. Or skip. It's okay, buddy. I really don't think it's coming from a bad place, which is surprising. Good boy, Skip. All right, I think it's time to go get pop cups. Let's get out of here and away from her. Oh, 
but we've got Koopy's harness here, and we're gonna get his his harness on to go for a ride, right? Koopy, this does not fit you. Are you sure this wouldn't fit him? Pretty sure. Good boy, Skip. Good boy. Here we go, going on a trip. We just had to show you guys this. So when he's getting ready to be picked up to go somewhere, he assists. All right, ready, Skip, here we go. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see that, but he does a tiny little jump. Good boy. You're such a sweet boy, buddy. Look at all the, the floppy ears, the big old chin, the puffy legs. I wish you guys could feel how soft he is. He really is like a teddy bear. All right. There you go. Off on an adventure. Uncle there we go, how nice is that? Oh my goodness. Very hot and sticky in this car right now. We always talk about the dog breath in the cars when there's just Coop and Coda, and now we've got a third little hot breath machine. Coda's just along for the ride, enjoying himself. No idea what's coming next, but uh, he's gonna be pretty hyped. So is this one. Cooper sees the ride as like a means to a fun end, but Coda sees it as like a delicacy in and of itself. Like the ride. An experience. Yeah. He appreciates the moment. Yeah. Whereas Cooper is always looking for the next crazy adventure, crazy yeah. Cooper's like, okay, event. Where are we going? Coda's like, I'm happy to be going. We should all take a page out of Coda's book. Oh my goodness, I can hardly believe it. Where are we, Coda? Gotta turn this down. It is a hot day here in Florida. Yeah. Even hotter in this. It can you imagine what the humidity in this car is with all this exhaled breath? He's might be the biggest perpetrator. The smallest one that needs the, the least amount of oxygen is breathing the most and hardest. You guys really don't want to be in this car right now. And to be honest, this is my original truck from when I was 15 years old. She's uh, She's been put through the ringer and she's her AC just is not that cold anymore. So uh, it's a struggle. I think he knows where he is. He definitely knows. <laughs> Starbucks will be in front of you. Oh my gosh, so many dogs. Anything else? And then three pup cups, please. Of course. Oh my gosh, there's a third one. There's a third one. <laughs> Coda, you can't stick your head out of the window in through the delivery window. That's not appropriate. He's a show stealer. Guests eat first. Skip, what do you think? But <laughs> I love how you have to physically turn him around. Get it, Skip? Look at his little mustache. <laughs> <laughs> you just got groomed and we're gonna get you all sticky before we send you back. Perfect. That's exactly what oh. we're supposed to do. We've got a second one here. Coda, would you, oh, oh, Coop, you're being impatient. So we're gonna let you go last. Coda, you can have this one. Good boy. And for Coopy, there you go. You just... Oh my goodness. It's all over me. Okay. Coda will just help you. They're, they're, oh. <laughs> this is... <laughs> This is not good. Look at all of this. Are you kidding me, boys? Oh. It's all over me. All right, yeah, get in there, Coda. Get get it. This is a disaster. I mean, this is the most magical parking lot in all of Orlando if you're a dog. You get to get a pup cup, and then two doors down, you get to go to Wolfgang, yeah. get treats and toys. And if you're really lucky, there's a chicken spot over there that has nuggets. Too. Ooh. I don't think we need chicken nuggets today because we've already had a whole bag of treats and also pup cups, but it's a great spot to be. To be honest, I don't think it would be possible for two people to bring three dogs and a camera in, so at least this way I can film from the car. Do you and your little mustache want to go inside? Yes. This is a whole new ball game for you. You've never been a, a small dog person, small dog mom. And there they go. Good luck, Skip. Pick out something good. Boys, I think we uh, we cheated the system. We get to chill in here in the AC and do nothing, and then the toys and things get brought to us. Oh my goodness, they're back. Can you believe it? Koopy can hardly even contain himself. <laughs> get back in the back, buddy. Wow, what'd you guys get? Hey, you go to Uncle Trev and then we'll show him our bag. All right, come on. Let's go, buddy. Good boy. That's a good spot. We got a treat bag. <laughs> okay, you... Skip, are you a bad influence? Did you guys go overboard? Skip and I don't even fit here. What did you guys do? We got some nice toys. Okay. He's happy. Nothing like going to get Starbucks and then a new toy haul. 
I think the bag of toys weighed more than he does. Back in the house, back on duty. First things first, we got something for our kitty friend. Aww, for our stalker to make sure yes. that she doesn't take us out while we're sleeping or something. We got some ocean themed treats. I'm opening them right now, my friend. There's a third one begging, by the way. You can just barely make out his nose over there. So we got an octopus, we got a dolphin, and we got a shark. And then we got some treats to share. Okay, little biscuits. This one wasn't skipped, this was me, because tomorrow's my birthday, so I bought the boys treats to have on my birthday. Oh my goodness. Now it's time for the big ones. Are you ready? All right, I think he's, he's picked out. still looking forward to the treats, but. This for Cousin Coda. Did he actually pick it out? Well, I picked these ones out. You'll see the ones he picked out, and you'll be like, oh, that makes sense. Okay. Wait till you see the one I got for Cooper. Are you ready? Yep. <laughs> He's going on a trip, huh, buddy? And this one for Skippy. Aw, a little ice pop. And then these are the ones Skip picked because they were down low. This one's for Coda. Dinosaur. Did he really pick this? Yeah. Megan loves dinosaurs. Good and job, Skip. Him and Cooper got matching. Are you ready? Uh -huh. you remember those ocean themed treats? Dinosaur shark. <laughs> My personal favorite might be this one. When we take our next trip, Coop can go on a trip as well. He's got some sunnies, he's got some sunblock, he's got a little t-shirt. That looks like a shirt you would wear, Trev. And you guys know that these guys love like the burrowing, take things out type toys. Go get it. We're gonna figure out we'll if we like that or not. We'll warm up to it. It's a little big for him, but he is a fan of big toys. There it is, all right, he got his sunblock out. He's almost got his, oh, that's his t-shirt. Good. All right, his t-shirt's out. <laughs> oh, there's his sunnies. Get him. Good boy. Good boy. There it is. Wow. This one's actually pretty tough because you've got one hole in the front and one on the side, and that's it. Yeah. There's a bunch of sides that don't have anything, so. Good boy. Now we got to repack it. You can unpack it again. Coda, how's it going over here? He, he gave up on it. Get it, Coda. Yeah, Coda, get it. Here. You remember when we were telling you that Skip just tries to get the boys going? Here we are trying to have nice family time, trying to play with some new toys, and he's over here. There's nothing to bark at. What are we barking at, buddy? You see anything? I see an empty street. We checked it out, no threats. We're gonna go back inside. Who knew Havanis were such good guard dogs? Ready? <laughs> oh, almost. Oh, it's purple like his food dish. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Not the most coordinated, but he loves it all the same. And with his dino backup, he has assumed his role as guardian. We're not sure if he's watching out for us or if he's just watching for Megan to come back. I have a feeling it's probably the latter, but uh, he's he's watching. Thank you guys so much for watching. We are going to see you guys next week here on Super Cooper Sunday. It is actually going to be Coda's 10th birthday. And the big one zero. Crazy. If you guys have anything you want to see, Feel free to leave comments down below. We might even take some suggestions. We've got a few ideas, but we obviously want to have a blowout. We'll see you guys there. Drop a like if you guys enjoyed. Catch you all later. Peace out.